Hello, everyone. Welcome to Shape It Up. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I took the day off from podcasting yesterday. So if you were looking for that podcast, it's not there. <laughs> so uh, I just needed a day to gather my thoughts. Um, podcasting every day can be very challenging. So I want to make sure that I'm giving you quality information and I just needed a day of rest. So Today, we are diving into, because it's December 1st, we are diving into holiday fit tips. So, this is usually a great time of the year to be with family and friends, regardless of whether COVID is going on or not. You can still be in touch with your family and friends through Zoom. Um, so, but a lot of the holidays, you know, they're filled with parties and food and errands to run. And even if you are in your house and you've decided to do online shopping or whatever, there's food everywhere. Uh, I know a lot of people um, that we're friends with like to drop off lots of food and wine and stuff like that, which is so nice that they are doing this, but you can probably get a little overwhelmed with the amount of food that's in your house. Also, during this time of year, you know, we're decorating and we're doing all kinds of things for the holidays that are coming up. And a lot of times we kind of get start getting overwhelmed. And the first thing that gets tossed out the window is fitness and nutrition, your health and your fitness goals. They get chucked out the window because you feel like you don't have time to do them. I know it's very easy to say, I'll skip my workout so I can fill in the blank, I can decorate the trees, I can do online shopping or whatever. Uh, food too, um, you know, if you're looking for convenience food or you're going through fast food drive throughs you know, you think they're more convenient, but maybe the payoff down the line isn't going to help you because it's very, very easy this time of year to gain seven to 10 pounds of holiday weight. But I think one of the things that we're forgetting is that there are really only two holidays coming up, depending on what you celebrate and your background. I know for us, it's Christmas and New Year's Eve are the only two things that are happening. And it's two days this month. So it's a holiday, not a holla month, right? So if we only ate quote unquote badly or overate those two days, and I'll even throw in a couple extra days. So even if it's four days, if you're overeating, you if you're on a weight loss journey, you shouldn't have any problems maintaining that weight. If you've lost the weight and you're only overeating for four days, you should not be gaining more weight, um, you know, so keep that in mind as you go through this month. It is a holiday, not a holla month. We don't need to overeat every single day. And through December, I am going to be dropping tips and strategies on how you can navigate your way through the holidays so you don't have to worry about Santa leaving a gift of extra weight around your waistline. <laughs> So if you are ready for all those tips, I want you to hit subscribe on whatever channel you are listening this listening to this on. And if you um, have a question that you want answered, you can definitely head over to shapeitupfitness.com and ask me what you would like to learn more about. Go to shapeitupfitness.com slash ask Nicole. A-S-K-N-I-C-O-L-E and leave your comments and your question and I'll be happy to answer them. And it might be featured on one of the podcast episodes. All right, so that is it for today. Stay tuned for tomorrow for all the holiday tips, not holla month. All right, take care and I'll talk to you tomorrow.